They're ready. Am I in the shot? All right. All right, it's been a really long day, but today I'm going to teach you guys how to detail a boat like a pro. If you're wondering how to perfectly detail your boat with just a wash and a wax and a good detail, this is the video you're going to want to watch. I'm going to explain it in about five to six uh, easy-ish steps. shot this video a little different than I normally do so uh, this will be the last time you actually hear me talk I'm just gonna time-lapse the whole thing and explain everything that I do through the process it's been a long day I'm hot I'm tired sunburnt but hey that's boat detailing for you so hope you enjoyed the video and obviously like always if you get any type of value out of this please hit the like button and please subscribe I need you I'm desperate <laughs> just kidding but it would be awesome thanks guys hope you enjoy the video all right guys, so let's go ahead and start off with the video. I wasn't quite sure if I was actually gonna make a video on this boat or not, but about halfway through washing it, I was like, what the heck, why not? So I didn't actually film me uh, washing the interior of the boat, but I did, I used the same steps. We get our foam cannon, and in this case, I used Dawn dishwashing soap because I just wanted to like remove any, uh, any waxes, uh, fish blood, all that good stuff. I just wanted to go ahead and remove all that stuff. So I used Dawn dishwashing soap to wash this boat and we went ahead, washed it, and fully dried it. What you're gonna notice here is some black rubber marks from the docks. If you encounter this on your boat, no worries. Just take some acetone and it literally wipes right off. My biggest recommendation though is to use a white rag because you can uh, turn the color of the boat yellow if you use a colored rag. So always use a white rag when you're doing acetone on your boat. Right, so step number two is to wax or seal your boat. We are using our Jesscar polymer sealant. Uh, this is not technically a wax, I just call it a wax because that's the term everybody knows, but this stuff is actually a polymer sealant. You usually will get about six to eight months of protection out of this product as long as you maintain it properly and uh, you know, obviously wash your boat, keep it clean and that kind of thing. What you'll notice right here is that I am using the Griot's Garage DA polisher you can find it on the link down below this is the machine I actually recommend to everybody boat owners captains and detailers if this was a real job it was a real paying customer and I used it on his boats and I got absolute perfect results um, I prefer to even use this machine for waxing over my $500 flex um, it is a good machine and you can see I can just hold it with one hand and go. I usually run it at about probably five, the five speed setting. I'm not 100% sure how many RPMs that is, but I usually run it on about five uh, speed setting. Uh, the biggest thing, man, is just do your side to side, up, down, side to side motion. You can find it on all my other videos, that same technique. Cool thing about this Jess Car product is you can use it on your Callens, you can use it on your motor, you can use it on your uh, lower unit. Um, I basically wax everything besides the props. I just kind of leave the props alone. Um, but it's a really good product. You actually get somewhat of a polish out of it and it is a very, very good protectant for your boat. So all we're using right here is diluted purple power. You can literally go to Walmart and buy this. There's nothing super fancy about it in magic erasers. Magic erasers and purple power are your best friend when it comes to seats. I try to stay away from bleach as much as possible because bleach will dry out the vinyl really bad. Purple power, just so in the years of me doing this, I have had really good results with just a simple uh, you know, degreaser. You don't have to use purple power. You can also use like simple green is a good product as well. But scrub the seats down with magic erasers. And then at the very end, we rewash it. So don't worry about it, but get the seats looking right. And then right after the seats, I hop right into the compartments and I get the compartments looking right too. Same product, same towel, 
same magic erasers just go to town get all your rust stains out get all of your black marks out get all your fish blood out just take this time to go ahead and really detail the inside now if you notice i waxed the outside already and now i hopped into the inside and i'm deep cleaning the interior i like to do all my compartments and my seats before i start waxing that way um, i don't get any overspray from the degreaser on uh, the boat while i'm waxing it now once you're done with that jump right into waxing it again on the top side i like to do the non-skid on the tow rail i don't i don't really do the floors but i always do the non-skid on the tow rail it just helps with the extra level of protection um, on the tow rail and then the cool thing about this product too is you can go over all your metal as well while you're going at it another thing you'll notice too is when you're doing the inside of a boat you have to get in some very um, odd places so you have to be somewhat of a contortionist <laughs> but um you know you just got to make it happen and it's the same uh, rule on the outside try to do your side to side up down side to side motion but obviously on the inside there's so many different little variables and things that change so just get creative with the pad the biggest thing you want to make sure is that the wax is getting on the surface in an even and an orderly fashion So let's go ahead and move on to our metal. I wax all of my metal with this product called Woody Wax. I absolutely love this product. Um, this particular product you can put on your gel coat, you can put on paint, you can put on wires, you can put on metal, you can put on glass, you can put on isinglass. This is just a very, very, very thick, really good spray wax. There's nothing really special about it besides that. Um, it polishes up really well and actually it really helps get like blood and like fish guts off and it's a really easy way to uh, get wax into really tight places that your machine can't and you can also wax over all of your screens, your radios, your wires, your gauges, you can wax over all of that with Woody Wax. It is a very, very good product. Go ahead and buy it. The link is down below. And once you're done woody waxing, all of your wax should be dry. So then go ahead. This is pretty much your last step as far as waxing and detailing wipe all the wax off so what i did was i did the rub rail down that you witnessed earlier i did the motors the callons and then i did the interior of the boat i waxed the entire boat before i went ahead and let it uh, dry and then i took it off so uh, this is my helper here he went ahead and just took all the wax off nothing crazy about it just put um, you know fold your towel in fours and just go ahead and do circle motions and buff it till it is shiny the biggest thing I can say is just make sure you get all of the wax off because you don't want to have any wax residue left over. So once you have all your wax off, you are finished and now it is time to do your final last deep clean before you are complete with your boat. Now, if you notice, I had that little purple pump sprayer. All that is, is diluted um, purple power, same product. Um, I like to try to use multiple products for different uses, so it just saves money that we're not buying 10 million different products. So purple power, spray it on the floors, brush it really good, and then get on your hands and knees and humble yourself and get to town with some magic erasers. This will remove all dirt, all stain. It literally brightens it up so quickly. Again, I try to stay away from bleach as much as possible because bleach will etch the uh, non-skid and it will dry it out. In this process too, I do go back over the compartments on the floors and get those compartments perfect. I don't think I have any footage of it, but I do usually have a little shot back and I'll suck out any dirt, any debris, anything left over in the compartments. But this last final step is crucial that you get the floors perfect 
before you are considered done with the boat. Thank you.